And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. It's another cloudy and chilly start to start off the morning across the Snake River Plain. Right now in Idaho Falls, a temperature of 48 degrees, a couple of degrees warmer right now in Pocatello, coming in at 50 degrees to start off the morning. Maybe not as many clouds across Pocatello as you will see across Idaho Falls to start off the morning. The clouds are keeping us warmer than what they what the temperatures could be right now across the central mountains with a decreased cloud cover they're seeing temperatures kind of freezing in stanley to even in the 40s it's 25 degrees right now in stanley 40 degrees in chalice a degree below freezing in salmon coming in at 31 degrees but notice across the snake river plain we are in the 40s and the 50s it's 49 degrees right now in blackfoot 50 degrees in pocatello 51 degrees in rexburg and it's 41 degrees right now in jackson to start off the morning and on the storm tracker satellite and radar we're seeing those patchy white clouds once again to start off the morning mainly across the upper half of the snake river plain some clouds lingering to pocatello looks like it's partly cloudy to start off the morning in our area but across island park jackson still seeing those clouds but no clouds up by salmon and chalice which is why salmon is a degree below freezing to start off the morning and even as we pan out to see where these clouds are coming from we're really seeing that southwest flow really continue for today so we'll still see those clouds throughout the morning so we'll start off with lots of clouds in the sky but by this afternoon skies will turn mainly sunny out there and those temperatures will warm up too we'll see a return of the 80s today across the snake river plain now there is a red flag warning in effect beginning tomorrow afternoon that will linger until about nine o'clock tomorrow night and that's for pretty much southeast idaho due to the critical fire weather with really low relative humidity and a slight chance of a thunderstorm popping up so any fires that do start could could spread rapidly with those gusty winds out there for the weekend now for today across the snake river plain a pretty nice finish to the work week we'll start off again with those clouds in the sky but by this afternoon skies will turn mainly sunny and it'll be warmer out there as well we'll have a high temperature of 82 degrees today in pocatello 80 degrees in blackfoot will be 79 degrees in idaho falls across western wyoming temperatures generally in the 70s for today and across the central mountains still not quite as warm as the snake river plain but temperatures will be mainly in the 70s as we look ahead to this evening across the snake river plain skies will be mainly clear maybe a few clouds will linger across the central mountains but overall we'll have low temperatures in the 40s for tonight for your seven day forecast the weekend's looking pretty nice across pocatello we'll have a high temperature of 86 degrees for tomorrow with partly cloudy skies and then on sunday lots of sunshine with a high temperature of 82 degrees and it'll be a little bit breezier than we'll see out there for today across idaho falls expect a high temperature of 83 degrees tomorrow with partly cloudy skies lots of sunshine on sunday with temperatures not quite getting into the 80s and it looks like the 70s will continue through the middle of next week across the teton area jackson afton and driggs expect a high temperature of 75 degrees for today it'll be 80 degrees tomorrow and the 70s will stick around for sunday through wednesday across the central mountains salmon chalice and mackie expect a high temperature of 77 degrees tomorrow with mainly cloudy skies and there'll be lots of sunshine on the way for Sunday with a high temperature of 77 degrees.